Hey, what's up guys? This is Ivan Rami from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. This video will cover my HiHa Walmart setup for consoles. There's a drop happening tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern for Walmart Plus members, which we announced today in Bot and Cop. So if you haven't joined Bot and Cop already, I'll leave a link down below for a free three day trial. We are offering free ACO for sites such as Walmart, Amazon, and Best Buy. Just follow the instructions and fill out the form. Boncop has monitors and alerts for every site such as Amazon, Walmart, Target, and Best Buy, which will notify you the second high demand items are in stock. We have all the guides and one-on-one -on -one bot support you need. Pay members will also be able to join in the free ACO service. With that being said, we can hop into the setup. So the very first thing for Walmart is having Walmart Plus accounts. I typically uh, recommend at least 10 accounts around there. The more, obviously, the more chances you'll have to uh, hit. And also, when you're making these accounts, you want to stick with a specific card for each account. So, since I have slash virtual cards, I have one for each account. That way, I can jig it with the address or shipping or whatever for these accounts. So for the accounts, uh, you can see I already made a YouTube section to do this. Just go here in the top right. You can click group name and name it whatever you want. For this one, I'll go ahead and put one of my accounts in. All right. So once you have all that info in, go ahead and click select a site and choose Walmart. Click add accounts. And then here you'll see it says username and password. And then it says status not signed in. So to sign in, click on here. It'll bring up a web browser. And it should autofill automatically for you. You can close that web browser after you are signed in. And then here it will say signed in. So that's good. And then go ahead and jump into your profiles. So if you're making new profiles, just make sure you're using the same email you use for your account. Um, that would be the same. Same will apply to uh, if you already have profiles created. Just make sure those emails are connected. That way, when you're creating tasks, you can match them. So I already have some slash virtual card profiles made, and I already changed the email. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the task. So for the task, uh, I would recommend you guys to separate them from like Walmart PS5 Digital, Walmart PS5 Disc. That way, if you have to change the offer ID, um, you can do it quickly by pressing this edit all. Um, so let's go ahead and make a new task. So here I already have some of my stuff entered. I'm going to go into our Discord where we have the console SKUs. So you see here we have Walmart. Let's go ahead and grab the digital offer ID. So I'm going to paste that here. I um, mean, it'll say you can use the URL or offer ID, but I highly recommend you guys to use the offer ID, especially for consoles. So for here, you can leave it as safe. Um, account gen is for generating accounts, but typically I just manu manually create them ahead of time. That way I know what has Walmart Plus and what doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And for proxy group, I highly recommend you guys to run some resis. Uh, I specifically use Oxylab, uh, AYCD Oxylabs, which work really well for Walmart. So I'm going to choose that. I'll leave a link down below on how to buy those as well with the little coupon code that I have. And then finally, for profiles, you're going to choose uh, your profile group. Choose that. And then since I just made one uh, one in the YouTube group, I'm going to choose that. So for queue handling, uh, you'll want to stick with one unless the devs tell you to do two or three. So you can have two and three as backup, but typically you're going to stick with one. And then for the perimeter X strategy, um, they recommend you guys to use Gen 1 and Gen 2. So if I had two accounts, I would just choose Gen 1 and then Gen 2 after. Quantity, you'll keep that at one. Max price should be um, the base plus tax, so 550 or 650, um, just depending on what site or what state you guys are in. For monitor delays, I would do around 5,000. I wouldn't go too low either because you know you're gonna waste your data real quick. So 5,000 is a good number. 
account checkout, you want to have this checked because you're using an account. Hide webhook is for um, public whenever you have that posted. But if it's in your own Discord group, just go ahead and you can leave it unchecked. And then finally, um, you'll want to have match accounts to profile checked. Uh, enable third party, you want to keep this off. You don't want to get a third party because you'll just pay um, reseller value, which is not good. So that's basically it. You don't have to worry about advance or anything. And um, for the amount of task, it should be one task per SKU on each account. So you don't want to run more than that. Otherwise, it can create problems for you. So I'm going to click create and then stop that. Click start. There you go. So now it's going to create that session. And then it's solving, which is good. Um, then when it comes to uh, when the drop happens, I would start task about 10 minutes before, maybe 15 or 20, depending on your uh, resi data. Just don't want to start too early or too too late because you'll still have to log in and have that ready. So here it's just going to try to add a car and obviously there's nothing in stock. So it's going to say out of stock. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, like I said, resis work best. Keep it to one per SKU on each account, one task per SKU on each account. And um, yeah, make sure to have multiple accounts to in order to hit a lot. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you want to see next and thank you for watching. I'll probably be posting a live drop uh, for tomorrow and add some commentary over that and see how well we do. Thanks.